Hey guys, what's going on? Kelly here, and this is part two. Um, I'm not really going to give that many tips or strategy in this one. This is more or less just to show you the end of the uh, the game and how I, I mess up by uh, running out of ammo, but trust me, you can get much farther than I got using this strategy. I made some mistakes by just kind of like using my ammo like crazy, and uh, yeah. But I wanted to address at least some questions that were coming up, and the major one was, how did you get quick revive It's uh, if the power's not on? I'm in solo mode, and in solo mode, it's on. Quick revive is on. You don't need to turn the power on. It's already powered on, so you don't need to worry about that. And um, if you are playing multiplayer, I don't recommend getting quick revive in the you know as soon as you can. I th I recommend waiting a little while to get it, um, just because you know you don't really need it uh, for a while. And um, you know, as soon as you can afford it, just get it basically. And what are the other questions uh, that were coming up? I know there were, oh, claymores, claymores. A lot of people said, oh, you didn't say anything about claymores. And I'm sorry, I completely forgot to mention that. But yeah, you can purchase claymores. They are uh, on the stage of the theater, uh, behind the teleporter. They're around there somewhere. They're on a curtain, I think. But uh, yeah, they're there and you should buy those and you can put those anywhere and they'll uh, help you kind of stay safe for a little longer before you teleport and uh, that's what I recommend using them for and uh, just you know beware of you know where the zombies are and make sure to watch your back towards the end rounds because um, you know like here you saw some zombies coming down from the stairs when I, I had just gotten back from the teleporter and you know they were doing that because uh, I didn't wait long enough before I teleported so you know obviously zombies were still coming through the barriers in, in different parts of the map like you can see right here and I'll actually get caught I think right here and yeah uh, I think I'm on my second quick revive now I think you it might have been yeah this is my actually this is my third one I think I don't think I can get it again after this see they cornered me right there and you just got to be careful about stuff like that you really have to watch like where they're coming from and really prolong before you teleport so you, you know you don't die for the most part you can uh, pretty much run away from them and find a way to dodge them so yeah I make to round 29 my <laughs> round 29 uh, I could have kept going probably but uh how do I die let me see well I run out of ammo I'm just kind of running around aimlessly uh, trying to link the teleporter so I can at least get some grenades because I, I don't have many points to actually buy a gun. Uh, but I make some more points after I teleport again. And I try to buy an MP40. And I have to empty the whole clip into a zombie to kill him. At this at, at that far of a round. <laughs> I mean, it's not upgraded, obviously. So, uh, yeah, that backfires. And then I let myself get cornered. Which was a big mistake. Uh, for some reason, there's a zombie coming at me. And I, I run towards him. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I was just nervous. And I, I let that happens so you know just try not to get nervous when <laughs> all odds seem against you winning because a lot of times you can make it out alive and it's all good and what else can I tell you guys oh uh, I should have my Minecraft uh, winner announcement up tomorrow tomorrow or Tuesday sorry guys I got like school and, uh, and it's just whatever it's my birthday week to be quite honest, uh, my uh, Thursday is my 21st birthday, so I want to have fun this week. And I do have fun making videos, but uh, when you have a bunch of schoolwork and all that stuff, uh, trying to find time to make videos and uh, trying to t find time to, you know, do your homework and to actually go to work, it, it becomes stressful. So the first thing, uh, obviously, that has to get sacrificed is uh, how many videos I can put out a week. Because, you know, obviously I can't sacrifice I can't sacrifice work and I can't sacrifice my schoolwork or, you know, whatever. You know, school costs so much money that it's like, no, no way, man. You can't do that. Oh, my God. And uh, I did my first Machinima commentary. Uh, I rendered at least. It's not on Machinima yet at all. But, um, God, I made a lot of corny jokes and I'm going to get trolled so 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 hard and <laughs> the one thing I made sure to do uh, I get lucky with this nuke right here on that video was a lot of girls if they post and they don't say anything about being a girl people think they're a little boy for whatever reason I don't know what it is they will sound very feminine uh, but people will think they're a little boy and I'm just like wow 
and I, I get that all the time too like yeah my part one of the strategy guide because um more people were seeing it than my actual subscribers because uh it, you know people were looking up strategy for how to do this level so a lot more people are seeing it than you know my average uh subscriber base they were like are you a girl uh yeah no shit but um <laughs> You know, so I, I had to make sure, you know, I'm only mentioning this because you'll think I'm a little boy, but I'm not a squeaker. I'm 21. It's just so funny. I mean, I can't, I can't even, like, tell you guys how much I, people think I'm a little boy just because they don't expect girls to be playing video games. Which is really weird to me because I, I know so many girls that play video games. So, <laughs> we do play them. I just don't know why no one knows about it kind of weird but uh yeah so I, I talked about that and uh i also talked about it like the only two times i'll really mention my gender uh, when it comes to video making because i don't you know i'm not one of those girl gamers that's like look at me i'm a girl gamer like me please please like me i need attention because i'm an attention whore i'm not like that you know, I don't think anyone should, uh, you know, get more attention because they're a girl or because they're a guy. I think you should get attention based on how interesting you are or how helpful you are in your tips and stuff like that. So I've never really been like that, but I wanted to mention it just so people wouldn't be like, oh my god, it's a little boy. And just dislike it right away. So I'll probably get trolled for being a girl too, but hopefully not as much. But I think I'm mostly going to get trolled for like my stupid jokes because uh, they're pretty bad but I had fun with it and I think it's really funny and hopefully other people will and I'll put a link on my channel to it because I know a lot of you aren't subscribed to Machinima a lot of people unsubscribe to them everyone uh, every once in a while because uh, they they keep offering more and more videos not everyone likes that so you know I think individual channels are finally getting a lot more attention overall than uh, the bigger channels that uh, offer a lot of different people. I think people are finding, uh, you know, directors they like and sticking with them. And I think that's really cool, guys. And hopefully I'm one of your directors that you're like, oh, yeah, I like that. I like that person. She's cool. Hopefully. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is a really long video. I'm like so not talkative right now, but um, I uh, just got back from school and I also I have a, a what's in that bag on my vlog channel a new video if you want to check that out I, sh I just go over what my parents packed me in a bag because they always pack me food in a bag uh, because they care about me obviously like most parents not you know not all parents care about their kids but mine do luckily <laughs> and uh, most parents care about their kids so I just go over what they packed me it's just food and candy and uh it was just like to see if my subscribers would like that on my vlog channel. A lot of people liked it. They thought it was funny. And they they thought this big bag full of food, like two uh, two soups of can and uh, two soups of can. Two cans of soup in my first episode. They were like, "Wow, you eat a lot for your lunch." And I was like, "That's not a lunch." And there was like tons of other shit in the bag too. Like don't get me wrong, there's like popcorn, there was a bunch of candy, uh, uh frozen vegetables. <laughs> there was a lot. And people were like, wow, wow, you eat so much in one of your lunches. I was like, no, that's for the whole week. Jesus, how like how fat would you have to be to eat all that? So, no. I just want to talk about that because I thought it was really funny that people thought like this huge bag of food was my lunch. Um, I don't know, whatever. This is probably... I'm rambling on because I'm just uh, so tired and annoyed with school. And I just want to have fun on my birthday week, especially my 21st birthday week you know so I'm trying to get like all my work done like now so I can have fun the rest of the week like my actual birthday is on Thursday and I just uh, <laughs> I want to be done with everything and one of my classes got canceled on Thursday isn't that awesome can you say birthday lock because you know I can't I can't because my class got canceled uh, but I do have a, a, a exam on that in that class on Tuesday, which kind of sucks, because I have no idea what it's on, because I don't think we really, we didn't really learn anything in that class. We did, like, a mock trial, which, uh, you know, what do you learn from that? You, like, accidentally act out a, a civil case, and that's all, and, uh, I don't know. I'll just look up court terms, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. 
but um how are you guys doing when's your birthday and um what are you guys planning on doing for your birthday just curious probably depends on what kind of birthday it is see like since it's my 21st birthday i'll probably get drunk just saying but um maybe if it's your like a 10th birthday i don't know if i have any really really youngins on my channel but if it's like your 10th birthday obviously you're not going to go out and you know get drunk although that'd be kind of funny that would be really funny actually well, i'd die laughing if i saw that uh, but um hmm. what else can i tell you about do i have any good stories huh oh on the way here uh my friend mike was driving me and uh it's raining out whatever and he had just like uh, done some work on his car uh, to fix like some like squeaky ball joint thing i don't know i don't know how to talk about cars so i don't know, really know how to explain these things but um whatever so we were talking about he was talking about how like great his car is running blah 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 and it's raining and he's getting onto a um and ex he's getting off of an exit ramp onto a, or no, it was like a merge ramp, sorry. He's getting off a merge uh, on the highway, and uh, his car, like, hydroplanes. And it was, it was so scary, but so fun at the same time. And luckily, there's really no one around, so it didn't really matter. And uh, he's a pretty good driver, so, you know, he was able to get out of it. But I love when, like, scary things happen on the road, but they're fun at the same time. Like, um snow oh, i have a good story about snow actually do you guys like driving in snow for the people who drive i hate i hate driving in snow and ice it, it sucks but there was this one time after work i drive a um a 99 mercury cougar it's kind of like a sportier car and um you know obviously since it's a sportier car it sucks in the snow i mean it, you shouldn't drive it in the snow but i was coming home from work and uh it was really snowy out. Like, I couldn't even see the roads. They they were just snow. And um, so I'm driving along. I know the roads. I know where they should be. <laughs> uh, because, you know, I take the same route home every day. And um, I really only live like seven. I only lived like seven minutes away from that job. And I'm driving along. And, uh, you know, there's a truck behind me with his brights on. He's like, why is this asshole going so slow? Well, obviously, because there's a blizzard. And uh, I can't see the road. And I'm driving a car. You are driving a big ass truck. Uh, way to be a dick though and uh, put your brights on. I hate people. I really do. I hate trucks who feel like uh, they own the road in the snow. Because they need to be respectful of other people's safety. Like if I, if I, wanted, if I was to go as fast as that guy wanted me to go, uh, I would have died. But... Anyways, you know, so I'm just going at like 10 miles per hour probably, like really slow, because uh, any fast turn, I'll, I'll, you know, go off the road. And so, you know, in front of me, I see some deer just chilling in the road, watching me, you know, approach in my car, and they're not moving. I'm like, really? Really, guys? I think they were, in their little deer minds, they were laughing their ass off at me, and they were like, oh, look at this person. They can't stop. It's so snowy. And so I have to stop. Obviously, I don't want to, like, hit Bambi. So, you know, I stop. And, of course, I, like, slide. I, like, my car kind of does, like, a 360 in the middle of the road and kind of, like, goes towards the ditch. Doesn't go in it, luckily. And then <laughs> now this guy in the truck's just even more pissed. But, yeah. And then the deer are just, like, they kind of run off a little. And they're still watching, laughing their asses off, probably. And this is where I'm about to die. But yeah, that's my story about that. I mean, I just backed up <laughs> and kept on trucking <laughs> at like 10 miles per hour. See, I like walked right into that zombie. I don't know what I was doing. I should have backed up and went around the corner, but I didn't. I was nervous. So yeah, how do you guys feel about driving in the snow? And uh, there's my score. It's pretty damn good. And uh, I could probably could have done better. And a lot of you have told me that uh, you've done really good with this strategy. So I'm happy about that glad it worked for you guys and have a great day